welcome to another exciting video of Wirestorm integration with Crestron. In the last video I mentioned that you can create easily video walls, however after a while I noticed that the manual is missing some information and uh, because of that I decided to create a video describing each step. Now guys at Wirestorm will update the manual in the meantime, but know that even when they do, steps in it are a bit more complex from what I'm about to show you. As always, when I use some kit that was played with, I uh, restore all the units to factory defaults. And here we can do it by using a uh, pen to hold down the reset button for 30 seconds. You can see that I already uploaded the units uh, set up to the control module as it shows receivers and transmitters in the web page. However, I searched for devices and configured the uh, IPs in each alias uh, just to make sure all is, uh, all is well. Now firmware was updated uh, very quickly and uh, to do that you can just open two windows for uh, batch commands. Uh, one will be just for RX units, one will be uh, all for TX units and this way you can just do them all at the same time. Additionally, I tested latency between my laptop and the receiver by taking a quick picture of a uh, running stopwatch on uh, both screens. Uh, you can see that the monitor was captured at around 5.07 to 8 seconds uh, while my laptop was at 5.09 to 10 uh, making it around 0.02 to 3 seconds delay with, uh, with my setup. Now on the bench I had two monitors Raspberry Pi with uh, Hava Berry and uh, Librelic installed, uh, Network HD 400 series receivers and transmitters on my laptop, uh, Network HD controller and a tough switch from Unify, which uh, <laughs> which is not really meant for this, but worked fine during my tests as, a, as the requirements were not really that high. Uh, once everything is connected, I just uh, tested via web interface if uh, sources are switching fine, and uh, just checked what would be the delay between uh, me issuing a command and the actual switch taking place. Now, to enable image preview at Crestron VT Pro, uh, we need to draw an image and set the URL to point to the motion JPEG stream. And uh, once we do that, at Wirestorm side, uh, we'll need to open the management software, open batch commands, and select all the transmitters that we have, then go to video tab, and uh, tick enable preview. Once that is done, we'll have to upload to the controller as well. You can always open, uh, once the preview is enabled of course, you can open a VLC player for example and uh, use the URL that I've just shown to preview your uh, VLC, uh, your stream from uh, Wirestorm and basically it will show you uh, how much delay you're gonna have between uh, the actual source and the preview stream uh, as this is gonna be only a preview uh, two seconds or, or even more should be okay. I also wanted to upload a small project, a small VT Pro project, just to see how it will look like. So here you can see a delay of the of my laptop, which I plugged into the uh, Wirestorm transmitter. You can see it on the X panel being updated every couple of seconds. Now I set it up to two seconds exactly, but uh, you can adjust that at the image properties at any time. Now, when we have the basics done, we will go step by step and create our video wall. First, click on create video wall and specify the wall configuration. In my case, it will be one row and two columns. Second, drag the appropriate receiver to its correct position in the wall. Uh, third, you can create a scene that will set receivers, let's say, in separate mode, uh, where each one is independent. 
the fourth step we need to create a scene where receivers will op operate in a wall mode uh, fifth hold down the control and keyboard and mark screens uh, so that uh, they would combine right click on your mouse and select combine and enter the logic screen name as you can see we have two scenes for two modes in which the receivers will operate however you can of course create more if you have more receivers in wall mode lastly don't forget to upload the configuration to control module and once that is done we can test our setup directly from the software just to be sure that all is in order when creating a scene you can also add a default transmitter so that when you select the scene it will change your route at the same time however i did not do it as i would like crestron to manage the source selection and that's uh, why you can see default screens now pop up uh, just to check uh, telnet control has sent a few commands and selected a source uh, when video wall is selected you can see how the default scaling looks like and if you like to modify how it should behave you can change the change it at uh, management software by opening batch commands and uh, navigating then to the video tab and modifying there the scaling options note that i uh, chose monitors in this setup with different resolutions on purpose uh, one is at 1920 by 1080 and another is at uh, 1680 by 1050 I just wanted to see how the scaling will work and how they will behave once the wall is enabled as you can see with movies uh, cinema aspect ratios of uh, 1.85 by 1 and 2.39 by 1 uh, you can stretch them quite well in this setup and get uh, quite interesting uh, results uh, we have everything now tested and working, so it's time to build a small X panel and a programming Crestron that will do the work for us. In VT Pro, uh, as you saw before, I created the preview stream with two seconds refresh rate and just a few buttons to trigger sources uh, within this setup. And in simple windows, uh, you can see that uh, we can trigger both screens at once or individually. Now. Uh, you can clearly notice that uh, the scene selection names uh, in Serial I.O. correspond to Wirestorm and uh, to Wirestorm scenes that we've created and uh, that, that is very very important. You, you'll need to make sure that the names that you create for scenes are identical in the Serial I.O. Finally, we can compile everything and uh, upload just to see how it works. Uh, once we choose combine mode as expected we will have just default windows as we didn't choose a source and we didn't set that up in Wirestorm management software so let's just select transmitter 1 in combined mode and uh, see how the video wall will look like now we'll choose transmitter 2 which is my laptop and uh, where you can clearly see the preview image of my laptop refreshed every two seconds uh, 5 with 2 for example, mismatch sources in this video wall mode, uh, you will notice that each transmitter will display only a part of the screen that was assigned uh, within the Wirestorm management software. And now, lastly, I would just like to trigger a few commands in uh, quick succession so that we can see the response time live. Uh, just before we reach the end of line for this video as well. making this video I wanted to show just how easy it is to configure video walls with this equipment and furthermore this should be a good example of having even bigger configurations of let's say 3 by 3 where you should just create several scenes with uh, different configurations 
and once that is done, control from Crestron can be added in seconds. For more information, feel free to check out my previous videos explaining how to trigger IR or RS-232 commands via Telnet on Wirestorm transmitters and receivers and note that uh, the example program can be found at the link in the description below. I would like to thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.